Hey, welcome back to another segment of Iowa Plainsman Outdoors. Um, today I'm going to be picking back up my project that I started earlier in the year to transform my lifetime Tamarack Angler Kayak into a waterfowl rig. If you look at some of my earlier videos, I had parts one and two of the transformation, which was basically me testing it out and uh, painting it camouflage. Today what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be focused on building the frame for the kayak. Uh, what I've done is uh, I've gotten a piece of 3 quarter inch PVC, it's one 10 foot stick, I've got two 90 degree elbows, and I'm going to make the back frame, and I've got some snow fence that I'm going to zip tie onto that so that I can zip tie raffia grass onto that snow fence. Um, for a while I didn't exactly know how I wanted to put my frame on my boat. Because what I want to do is I want to have it so it's easy to take off and it's easy to put back on because I do use a kayak for fishing and things like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put the PVC in the rear rod holders. Uh, that way I don't have to screw anything into the boat. Um, it's going to be very simple if this works as I, as I hope. Um, I'm not exactly sure if this will work, but we'll see. Uh, but I'm going to put the PVC there. So the first thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to sit in the kayak. I'm going to measure out the PVC. I want it just, just a couple inches above my head. Um, and then I'm going to get the PVC cut and get everything mounted. So, and again, the, the point of this project, too, is to keep this entire project under $500. And I've got the um, PVC here was an additional $1.55 onto the project. I will also be using uh, zip ties, which those were $1.89. And the... Uh, we got the snow fence. That was $21.89. However, um, that's for a 50 foot roll, which I definitely don't need 50 feet for this. If you want it uh, for just your kayak, you can actually get it from sportsmansdesigns.com by the foot for 49 cents a foot. Um, I bought a 50 foot roll because I'm going to need it for my big boat as well. And then I got the PVC pipe, um, the adapters. So those were a total of 78 cents. So now what I'm doing, I'm just going to kind of sit in the kayak and figure out exactly how high I want my PVC to be. Mark it with a Sharpie. So the next step here, I've got my line marked as to how tall I want my blind frame there in the back. And I'm just going to cut it with a skill saw. You can use any kind of saw as long as it's going to make a straight cut. But I'm just going to use a skill saw for today. Alright, so now I've got my pieces that I've just cut sitting here in the back and I am going to put the 90 degree elbow joints on and make the cross beam. So I'm going to take the remaining piece of PVC, measure it across here as the cross beam to figure out exactly how long I want my top so it's going to fit in here. Um, and then I will get the, cross, the top piece cut here and I will then drape that snow fence just over the top, give me the back cover, cover up my gear that's being stored in the back, so on and so forth. Okay, that is going to be the top of the frame. So for the next step of this process, this is the snow fence that I was talking about. It just comes in this uh, kind of a pine green, and it's, you know, it's sturdy, but it's pliable. And then I've got my cable ties here, which I'm going to zip tie those onto the frame. And uh, I'm just going to get this kind of measured out and guesstimate about how much I'm going to need. And then I'm going to get this cut. I'm going to get it zip tied on there.
Okay, and for now, that is the skeleton of the blind. Um, that should give me, I'm gonna zip tie some raffia in here to kind of hang down and some in here, all on the back side here as well. And um, that way I've got kind of some cover for my back side. Um, I'm also gonna make just a, just a mat of raffia to kind of stick over me. And I think that this is going to work out just about as good as I envisioned. Like I said, I'm going to spray paint this PVC here some. And uh, I'm going to place an order for raffia. And uh, then that will pretty much finish this out. I may add on to it later in the season as things progress. I don't know. I haven't tried this idea out yet. But we will uh, we'll see how things turn out. All right. And... I appreciate you guys checking out uh, the third installment of turning my Life Tam Tamarack Angler Kayak into a Waterfowl Kayak. Uh, it is starting to come together now, finally, and I should hopefully be having the fourth and final one done here pretty soon. Uh, I just gotta, I gotta order my raffia in and get that zipped in there, then I'm gonna go take this out for a test drive. Uh, but I also do have another video coming up of constructing my blind for my John boat, so make sure to check that out. Um, and just like, comment, subscribe. I'd like to hear feedback on this. This is not something that I've seen anywhere or I've heard from anyone else doing or, or anything. So I'm really curious as to see what you guys think, what you would do. Um, but yeah, definitely drop me a comment and subscribe because I got some really, really good stuff coming up this hunting season. Thanks.